All right, so here is the M3D Duel. There's a famous two extruder out in that doesn't extrude anything. There is my last print. And there is my filament that I have burnt through in the last several days trying to get this stupid thing to print right. So I actually just paused this print and then the, the board hung up and had to be and it reset on itself and killed the print so I can't even well, I was right in the middle of a print. Um, it not the right tool, but I mean I don't know what to do. We're gonna do this. We are gonna print one more time. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this. How the hell do you go back? There you go. I'm actually going to uh, replace. That's uh, Paramount 3D PTG. That's my good stuff. That's what I've been trying to print stuff with. And no luck. Um, different temperatures. This is the last one that I printed before this last start. And I don't know if you can see. Look how. It's like. I don't know how it prints that way because it was print, it was flat on the print bed, like, well, it was facing this way. So it was printing like that. So I don't know how the hell it prints vertical upright lines like that. I don't know. Well, I've got the full video of this coming out on my channel, I think, on Wednesday. I'm going to do some more filming on Monday. Uh, this is snake prank. Uh, what's going on? The duet locks up. The uh, print doesn't extrude. Um, yeah, I'm not happy. It's a $500 printer, and it should work. Uh, I'm gonna get in contact with the credit company if I don't hear back from them. Give them, I sent them an email today, giving them uh, two and a half weeks to get back to me with how they're going to refund my money and get the shit back to them. Uh, if I don't hear back nothing, well, I'm going to go to my credit card company and dispute it that they are not assisting me on getting this fixed. I mean, I've sent them two emails earlier this week. Um, the only company that's worked with me to try to get this thing printing right is Simplify 3D. They sent me their print profile. Um, that looks just like the print profile I created. Um, Simplify 3D, I mean, I've been doing this for four years. Um, my other printer's down and I wanted to buy a printer that was, you know, American made. And, uh... American design, I don't know if it's made in America. The parts are probably from China, but um, but still, this, this thing is a piece of crap. So, you'll see it in my video. Um, I normally don't like doing bad reviews, but this one's giving a me, uh, this is going to be a bad review. Uh, M3D is not going to like it. So, uh, we're all heated up here. Let's get this out of here. Unload filament in drive zero. What the heck is it doing? Oh, it's because I'm doing the wrong thing. I'm loading. There we go. And it's, I don't know why it's not working. Pissing me off. Um, God, my garage is a mess. Yes. What is this? 
Blue hips. Don't want to use that. More Paramount. Paramount's some good stuff, guys. Paramount. Hollywood. There we go. Here's some natural PLA. Oops, sorry about that. Let's sit you guys down here while I get this out. Then we put the filament inside there. And this is the other thing is while you're loading filament, it doesn't stay on the filament string. And we will go load. Make sure it's taking it. guys say they've had bad motors um, let's see it has God, it's, it locks up all the motors Nice and quiet machine. I am bombed. It doesn't work. And it doesn't like you pushing the button more than once. So let's go back, go back. Let's go back to load. Slow. And load. Focus off. There we go. There's stuff coming out. Yeah, there's. Yeah, look at that. That's, my, that's the last print right there. That's the last print. It just it thumbs up, kicks up, gets all over the. Okay, so let's go in here, prepare to print, we're going to print something, of course, that's stock print, we will do the origami crane, hello, uh, we're going to print the origami crane, Stop print, or um, crane. So the temperature is dropping to 195. It was at 230 so I could get the PG out. But the hotbed is not heating up. What was it going to do? Print it on a cold hotbed? Nope, there it goes. Don't know what it's doing. It's supposed to be heating up to 195, but temperature's going down. Come on. You piece of crap.
Oop, there we go. Now she's going up in temperature. But the hotbed's still cold. And so it's made the 195. And now it's cooling down. So obviously the origami print can't print. So let's go to the stock prints here. Let's go down to the Benchy. There we go. Now the hot bed's heating up. There we go. Oh, now we gotta go to 200 for the temperature. We're at 200. Let's see what happens. And we're going down in temperature. Okay, let's do this. Shut it off. Fire back up. Go down here to prepare print stock prints. Let's go to the origami crane again. Look at that. Temperature's rising. Nothing's happening. And down goes the temperature. I tell you what, this thing's a piece of shit. Pardon my language. So we're at 50, jumps to 200. We're at 200. And... Nothing. Okay, let's print, now my, I printed my Falcon F16B3 mount for my Christmas lights, that printed, it had one layer uh, separate on me, 24 Christmas lights won't, hooks won't work, I mean that's what these are, and they fail every time. Uh, Christmas light gutter hook, the K40 tube holder fails, a dishwasher knob, it's that little thing that says wash and clean, that failed, um, face mask, uh, face mask, uh, it printed this in the, in the beige skin, and then it printed this, I mean look how, Garbage. X axis axle nut. What was that? And then, even though I turned the knob, it timed out. X axis. Oh, that is an X axis for my other one, but I'm doing something different. That thing's crap. So let's do this. PLA. Bed test. What does this do? Shouldn't, you shouldn't be, I don't know why they've got their G code so that it's heating both things up. You're just stressing that board out big time by doing so. A joke. Uh, 
I mean, I bought it because it had a duet board bar in it. I figured it was going to be somewhat decent. I know a duet helped design this board for them, but it's not really, for the most part, a duet board. So let's see what this does. So it's pulling that side and pulling that side. I don't see it laying anything down. And the center is at the worst depth, so. It's not even taking the filament. It's grabbing it, pulling it, and then it's popping. Let's see here. Give it a little push. See if we can give it a little help. And nope. Oh, hey, there we go. There we go. So we are getting a little bit of lay down here. Now, mind you, it's both black and natural PLA should have done something like black and red so you could see the two but the only red I have is good stuff well, I don't know what this print is supposed to be but I will let it print and then I will come back when it's all done, and we'll take a look at it. Get this posted tonight. Uh, we started on uh, the first part of the video uh, for uh, Wednesday. Be right back. All right. Well, let's take a look here, and yeah, it doesn't look good. this kind of combination of the two filaments and look at that they're just falling right apart so there you have it it is a printer not my imagination. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, about Wednesday this week. The, uh, let's see here. Today is the 17th. So whatever Wednesday is, I'll have that other video up. Thanks for watching. See you next time.